Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to XM Channel. It's Monday, May 24th. I'm Christina Barthenidou, investment analyst, taking a look at uh, Euro dollar on the daily chart. Uh, While well, the market was mostly muted last week, uh, trading sideways around February's peak of 1.2242 and near an almost one year old restrictive line, which appeared to be a struggle for the market once again. Uh, well, the RSI continues to uh, fluctuate above its 50 neutral mark, and the stochastics have yet to clearly shift to the downside uh, but some weakness is evident in these indicators and we can see that uh, both of them were unable to resume upper direction last week uh, also the price itself has been trading along the along the upper Bollinger band and that decreases the case for a downside correction uh, however uh, looking to the downside the supportive trend line has been confirmed under the market action earlier this month so probably a break below this short-term trend line and a move uh, below the 20 uh, day moving average which fluctuates around the same position is likely needed to trigger stronger selling activities down to 1.2050 where the uh, 200 period moving average is placed on the four hour chart now if this fails to hold as well uh, the area around 1.1992 could be a more crucial area to watch given that the longer term moving averages the lower boundary band and the surface of the chimoku cloud are all uh, located here so Again, uh, here, if this floor collapses, we may see uh, steeper declines, uh, probably towards the next obstacle of 1.1870. Uh, now, in the positive scenario, uh, if the price were to crawl uh, back above 1.2242, uh, the pair may attempt to resume the post uh, broader uptrend above the key 1.23 and 1.2348 resistance zone. Uh, if this proves successful, then the uptrend may stretch up to the uh, 2018 highs registered between 1.2412 and 1.25. At this point, it's important to note that a trend improvement is also supported by the 50-day uh, moving average, which seems to be rising again above the 200-day uh, moving average. So that's all from me today. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.